is November 3rd, 2022, on this lovely Thursday. What? Nothing. Wow, he's got nothing this time, everybody. Uh, yeah, uh, about that not being on the podcast uh, last week, everyone has just been crazy over here trying mm -hmm. to get everything ready. Uh, my work schedule, you dealing with some other things. Uh, yeah. Who said retirement was slow? You retire, you, the more stuff you got to do, then there is time to do it. <laughs> okay, so uh, first off, everybody, uh, we will have our, our in-depth review of Halloween Ends, which will be next Thursday, the same day that uh, we will be going to see Black, uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Oh, yeah, I was going to talk about that a little bit today, too. Uh, you know what I'm going to talk about on that. Uh, well, I'll say that to, uh, for the end. Uh, first off, let's talk about uh, box office. So, yeah, so we're going to talk about three different box office numbers right now. Uh, first is Halloween Ends, the final uh, of this uh, part of the trilogy, which is the third film in the modern era. Uh, for this storyline, and you know, does last, last one Jamie Lee's gonna do? Yeah, and this last one she's done. She says she's done. Um, domestically, sixty-one million six hundred ninety-one thousand eight hundred ninety-five dollars. Internationally, thirty-six million one hundred twenty-nine thousand four hundred thirty-two dollars. Worldwide, ninety-seven million eight hundred uh, and twenty-one thousand eight hundred thirty-two dollars. So I think I'll reach um hundred million. I think I'll reach a hundred million. Oh yeah. I like for it to at least reach 100, 120 million. Uh, so that you know, like I said, I like the movie. The movie was not bad. Mm -mm. It it was a good conclusion, wind up, and things threaded together real. Yeah, it fit together like a puzzle. Puzzle pieces. Okay. Or Legos. Black Adam, uh, everybody, the uh, the film from Warner Brothers and DC uh, Studios, uh, which stars Dwayne the Rock uh, Johnson, is pretty much kind of like a um, a a side not I won't say side story, but introduction to another character in the uh, DC uh, movie universe. So uh, this you know it is connected with the movie Shazam. But domestically, right now, it's made one hundred and fifteen million four hundred ninety-three thousand and fifty-two dollars. Internationally, one hundred thirty-nine million three hundred thousand uh, dollars. Worldwide, uh, two hundred fifty-four million seven hundred ninety-three thousand and fifty-two dollars. Wow, that's that's two weeks though. Yeah, I know. It doesn't hurt that Dwayne Johnson was the main character. Oh yeah. Well, you know, everyone is trying to. Uh, they gonna take Marvel now. Well, it's not that they. A lot of people don't want this. Um, it, it's just now earned fifty million pro uh, dollars profit. Mm -hmm. uh, so right now. Um, Of course, the, the critics are saying it's a flop, it's a horrible movie. Unfortunately, I do think it is going to drop a little bit more in the ratings with uh, next week's uh, film. Oh, yeah. uh, I think Dwayne Johnson will uh, make a pretty good uh, bit of it, but this is a good setup film. And DC has not had the best record on uh, films lately. Uh, you know, Wonder Woman 84 did not do the best. Um, and that was a good movie. It, it was a good movie, but I think it, it missed its target audience. I think. Yeah. Um, I could see where a lot of people didn't like it. I liked it. Um, Aquaman was a hit or miss for a lot of people. Even though I was actually really impressed with Aquaman, like I, I was, I'm still, I still have to admit, I, I, I was wrong about that movie. I, I <laughs> you thought it was gonna be, a... uh, well, I, I mean, don't. Look, the only reason why we originally went to go saw uh, see it originally, Dad, was because 
oh, our, you know, Ariel was not, you know, she wanted to go see it. She want she likes going with people. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, if it's, it's an okay movie, it's fine. You know, no, I had well, to. I know she didn't want to go by herself. I understand. Oh, well, that's fun. I, I was. I'm still impressed. It was that good of a film. Oh, yeah. You know? So, anyway, uh, next. Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa did good in that film. He's such a smart buddy. But you know, that's the whole thing. Is DC is trying to catch up? Uh, I think Black Adam. Uh, I think it'll make its. Uh, it will make its money back. It will go down. With Black Panther coming out, uh, but uh, The Rock, he he's the type of person he doesn't like anything negative get to him. He's like, hey, this is the start of us getting really started, uh, and I'll have to say Hollywood has a bad tendency also with films is if it doesn't make so much within the first two weeks, it's a flop, uh, and. Where we look, well, like me and you look at it in the long run, and I think that's been part of DC's problem. Uh, they look at the, the short run. Yeah, it's all, all of their in house critics and little way way uh, pajama boys, as I call them. Oh, well, I think it'll reach over 300. Uh, yeah. I, I think it'll. All said and done. Yeah, by the end of this week, uh, this next weekend, I think by the uh before Black Panther comes out, it'll be about three hundred fifty, and I think I think it'll drop. I see Black Adam being between four, maybe four fifty to five. You know, if it can make uh around uh, close to five hundred million, I'd be happy. Mm -hmm. Uh. Just have to wait and see. Uh, all right. So now, talking about the next one, we're going to talk about this other film. Uh, now, uh, let's see. How much did it cost? This film cost. Hold on. Let, let me pull it up. We know it was an expensive film to make. Oh yeah. Uh, hundred seventy million to make that film. And, you know, I actually saw the DVD Blu-ray at uh, Walmart. Yeah. I didn't think about getting it. It's okay. Uh, so, domestically, this made $716,624,879. Internationally, $769,100,000 for a worldwide grand finale total of... Uh, one billion four hundred and eighty five million seven hundred and twenty four thousand eight hundred and seventy nine dollars. No sense. No, no sense. <laughs> uh and we are talking about um Top Gun Maverick. Uh which was a phenomenal movie. I I mean But it was a flop. Oh, I I had people who hated it. I I the cinematography they did, you know, especially with inside the airplanes, uh, you know, Tom Cruise, you know, really worked on trying to get it, get the feel for it the way they did. Uh, I, I have to give them credit on that one. I mean, what? Oh no, I'm agreeing with you. And there's only certain things they can't do with the actual aircraft. Like what? certain things in those aircraft that just cannot be shown out to the general public. Especially that, the new ones. I don't know if they weren't using the brand new ones. What? They used the F-18s. The new ones. Yeah, Dad, but they were showing, yeah. but they weren't showing the inside of the cockpit. No, I know. I know. They were showing outside and they outside were showing, the they were showing, um, you know, like that, okay? Well, remember, he was working very closely with the Navy. Oh, yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. So, now, the the old one, the the old plane uh, that they... The pl original, yeah. The original plane. Yeah, yeah, they could show the inside of that, you know. All, you know. <laughs> yeah, that one's been farmed out all over the world. Uh, no, everybody, if you get a chance to see it, you know, but... Uh, or you know, if it comes on TV here in the next couple of months or so, 
you get a chance to buy it on DVD Blu-ray, do. I mean, that film... It's a good action flick. It's a good action flick. The first one's good. You have to remember the first one was set in the 80s. Um, So if you know how cinematography and everything was done in the 80s, it's very much of an 80s film. But this, uh, this film had the... I'd say this film had the 80s film like feel set in modern times, and I think that's why everyone loved it so much. Mm-hmm. And you're like, it's a good flag. A little fly- bit of nostalgia. Oh, and it's a good flag wake movie, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah. Now, uh, when we... The, 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 sorry. That's what I'm supposed to do, not you. So next week, everybody, we're going to go see. Uh, we'll, we'll see Black Panther. What uh, we got to figure out? We're going to go see Black Adam, because I do want to see Black Adam. We got to sit down and figure that one out. Well, I know tomorrow we're going. Or uh, t- today, we're going to go see uh, One Piece Red. Yeah. So. Well, you don't know that is an anime. Yeah, only that most people know what what it is. That are that that listen to the podcast, people. Oh, yeah, that's true. All right. Uh, which I'm looking forward to that. I, I really am. Uh, da, 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 uh, so when we see Black Adam, everybody, we'll do a in depth review and set that up. Uh, set a date for that to come out. Uh, the in depth review to come uh, to come out. We'll do this an overlay. Uh like right after that'll be the first podcast we'll do we'll, we'll like do a partial overlay with some other topics and we'll have the in-depth review uh a couple you know a couple weeks out you know after the film's been out for a little while uh same thing like what we're doing with uh halloween which will come out next week and we'll do the same thing for black panther as well uh and we will wait i think we're going to wait a little longer on do, on releasing in-depth review of black panther mm-hmm uh, just because the type of film it is, and right now there is a big, um, if you guys don't know, there is a, and something I want to talk about today is a big movement, a big movement in the nerd community, and I'm not going to say this, and it's nothing against people who all uh, call themselves this, but, um, uh, I, I'm not going to say between I, because I saw a post, and you know, we've met some of the guys that that run the the uh, uh, some other podcasts and everything. Yeah. I don't classify, I don't do anything uh, and everything. I think I will say this: nerds, everybody as general is just a one general group. I don't, I don't break it up with from ethnicities. Okay, if somebody does, that's fine. I'm not going to do that because I think that uh, You're just an overall group. I, yeah, we're just an overall group. Okay, everybody. And I think we're bigger than looking at somebody's skin color, uh, personally. Yeah. Now, uh, with that being said, uh, I do know there's like a, um, there's something going on next week, not at, at like the Alabaster, uh, movie theater. They have a big, they're calling it the, uh, I think I could be wrong, everybody. If anybody's, uh, anybody knows about it, I apologize if I say I think they're calling it like the uh, white outfit or white clothes thing. They're basically going to go in, into Black Panther wearing, because um, I know a lot of people ordered it, the white like ceremonial uh, funeral attire. That's fine. Because of, you know this is the you know Chad Boseman. It's um, you know fortunately he passed away. Uh, hate it's an that. Homage to him. It's an homage. You know that's fine. That's there's fine. a big, there's a big event going on uh, over there. That's not the movie theater we're going to be at because we're going to, uh, we're going to be at the Patton Creek. You know, seeing IMAX 3D. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I and I know they're all welcoming over there because um, they said everyone's welcome. Okay, but what I'm, uh, what I'm talking about is, um, there's been a. Some people have talked about. It. I noticed most of this one girl. She's been like on. I think even you saw it on like on the news, didn't you? So, yeah, it was on the quote unquote uh, network news. Yeah, and you know, she said you know, you shouldn't go see Black Panther. And I think we've talked about this before. I've heard a little bit through the grapevine down here. Everybody, we're gonna go see it. Uh, 
and we saw the first one. There was no problem. It was black swan, so we all sitting on the edge of our seats. Uh huh. Well, we had an early black couple right next to yeah. us. We yeah, talked to them. Over, I mean, we had a good time. We talked to them for about fifteen minutes about yeah. the films. So yeah. yeah, I said big films coming out in uh in May. They're like, where can we go get them? We we sent them right over to uh Second and Charles. Grand, uh, the grandfather sat there and because uh, he sat there and said hey, uh, one of his super, favorite superheroes was Captain America. I said they have uh, Captain America film. He looked. I want to go get that. And he was military too. Mm-hmm. Uh So. Yeah, it kind of tells oh, you. Uh, it's gonna take y'all a while. <laughs> You heard what the grandma said there. She said, we're going to go t- contact our grandchild, and he's going to help us. You know. Uh, she was funny. But uh, we're going to go see the film, everybody. We're really looking forward to it. I don't I don't think we're going to have any problems in our area, our area yeah. uh, on that. And I think the area's going to have problems with is out west. San Francisco, west, L.A. Yeah, L.A. Now here's the whole thing: is that some of the uh, now a good portion of the actors and actresses that are in that film are not going to put up with that hearing about that. No, I know the girl point who plays Sherry. She's not going because you know, she's a very stand up person. Uh, so you know. I know, I can't remember her name either yeah. on the top of my head. But now, you know, let's sit there and say, uh, you've got, we know they're having, with next week with Black Panther, they have, they're they having Neymar being introduced, which is going to set up some, uh, a whole bunch of other stuff in the MCU. Um, it's just people trying to stir up and cause trouble. Oh, I know. Oh, I did hear something. Hold on, hold on. I remember that uh, it just hit my head because we're talking about Black Panther and I remember Captain America. Uh, Black Clover? No. Okay, so supposedly, hold on, let me see. Okay, all right. So, you've seen the Uncharted video games, right? Like the, uh, it's kind of like a treasure hunter type of deal. He's kind of like. You, all right, so you remember that movie Tom Holland came out with earlier called Uncharted? Yeah. It was based on a group of video games. Well, the same people behind it, and this is going to be um, very. It's going to be a story-driven game, okay? But you know, of course, there'll be a lot of action involved and everything. It this game is set in World War II, okay, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's going to be, uh. Captain America, Steve Rogers, a young Steve Rogers, um, fighting alongside Azuri. Who? T'Challa's grandfather. Hmm. Uh, T'Challa, uh, as well as Gabriel Jones, uh, the previous, uh, let's see, Azuri, no, you know, it, it's going to have Azuri in it, the, uh, she's a, um, one of the guards, T'Challa's grandfather in the previous Black Panther, Gabriel Jones, a soldier, a, uh, it's just a soldier, and Nalila, uh, Wakanda spy, I think it's Nalila, the other one there, uh, so yeah, they're going to do a game based in World War Two. With Cap fighting alongside the child's grandfather. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I mean, they that could actually be pretty interesting because be the side story in the right time frame. Yeah. 
That was something I, I was meaning to tell you. Uh, Black Clover, no, I don't know much about Black Clover right now, except it's coming out in March. Uh, of course, we're going to go, we're going to go see that when it happens. Uh, let's see, anything else? Uh, suppose you know, Naruto actually had a short film come out. Uh, here recently, it's about twenty minutes, and I can pull it up and we can watch it. It's um. Uh, I, you know what, I probably need to look through it real quick to make sure there's no spoilers for you. Uh, but, uh, yeah, from what I see in the animation, it looks good. Uh, you know, because, like, Naruto's 20th year is this year. I suppose there's a big Naruto announcement on the 17th of December. A lot of people have speculation that, uh, that the sequel series, Boruto, is going to disappear. The, the big thing everyone wants is that Barto is a massive, strong genjutsu, and Naruto is imagining it all, so everything that happens in Barto is not canon. And you think I'm joking? I am not joking. There is such hate for Barto. <laughs> it, it, it's, yeah, it, it's. It's not in an alternate universe, huh? It just didn't ever exist. <sighs> Yeah, it can be an alternate universe. Just that one nobody would want to touch. I'm having problems getting through it. I'm, I'm only like on episode 13, 14. I'm having problems watching it. My God, we gotta watch it. What? Okay. If you have problems with it, I know I would. I just, I, I can't get into it. I'm trying. I'm like, okay, I want to at least watch all the way through this and say I've watched it. You know? If you don't go to sleep. No, it's just like, I just, I can't, I can't get into it. I mean. It don't float you down. I just, it feels, it feels like torture. <coughs> well, it is bad. I, I know I don't want anything to do with it. I'd rather watch E.T. once a week. And everybody, and I mean that because you would have to actually know my sister would watch E.T. once a week. I mean, it was like that for a good couple of months. I want to watch E.T. I got so tired of watching E.T. You do all the dialogue forward and backwards. You say right along with them. Well, you remember? Oh, I do. Now, Kim, okay, you got to watch E.T. with me. I don't want to watch E.T. I'll leave your tea. I'm going to play with my toys. Now, E.T. Sorry. Uh, da, 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 da. I can't really. I can't think of anything on top of my head. Have you heard anything recently on anything? Nope. I mean, just the fact that Warner Brothers doing its chopping block stuff. Um, That's about it. Disney's, well, Disney's having its issues. Internal problems, but. It's all hush hush and quiet. Yeah, like we can't find out anything. Uh just need more quiet than Twitter. <sighs> <laughs> oh, that was funny, everybody. Elon Musk took over Twitter and oh, did you see what he did? How he carried a, a, a porcelain sink in there? Yeah, let this sink in. You know, uh, he was sitting there saying, I'm so God, he's such a smart ass. Oh yeah. He walked in with that. I said, I know there's a story behind that. He had the biggest old grin on his face when they started filming him carrying the sink in. Well, he fired the CEO, the CFO, and the, uh... Legal advisor. Le the head legal advisor. You know. Oh. Uh, yeah, well, she was all about, uh... Pushing an agenda. Yeah. Extermination of the First Amendment. So she didn't think was appropriate. Uh-huh. She was so woke, she made woke look negative. Uh, Dad, no. You have not seen the woke people I know. There, she, She's, she's she right. Was, she was right in there with them, huh? Yes. Oh, Lord. It's gotten worse. Oh, Lord. Uh, let's see. Supposedly, I heard a rumor there's a new Ninja Turtle movie coming out next year. I did hear something about that. I don't know where. Either next year or like the 
Like, I suppose they're already start. The script's almost done. And they're going to start shooting pretty soon. And it's supposed to be live action. Hmm. I don't know if it's going to be computer animated or live action. Uh, I, I don't know. Because uh, you also got Transformers coming out next year, too. Mm -hmm. uh, which this is not... The only thing is, I wish they did that final film. I wish they did the final of the, of the original Bay films. Mm -hmm. But this one is linked with the uh, with the Bumblebee timeline. Because mm -hmm. the Bumblebee timeline is a totally different yeah. timeline. But yeah. Another, another universe. Another universe. I wanted them to finish a story. Oh, you know, because at the end they introduced Unicron. I was like, okay, they could do a movie or two. You know, two more films and everybody to be happy. You know, okay, this is... This is what's, you know, you're building up. I could have seen two more films. Mm -hmm. So, but that's me. You would have went and saw them, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. Unpopular opinion, everybody. We actually enjoyed the uh, the last night. It was a very good story-driven and story-told. It was setting up for something. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I heard, I heard about that. Uh, of course, there's the 30th anniversary of Power Rangers. Um, and they're supposedly doing a, a special with that. I think a couple of the original cast members are coming back. Like the, like the I'm talking about like the OGs, everybody. Now, the only one, all ones I do know that will not be in there is Jason David Frank. Of course, he is done with uh, filming Power Rangers stuff. Because he wants to focus on his um, Legend of the, of the White Dragon series. Which, that's understandable, okay? He's still going to conventions and everything, but when they introduced the evil version of Tommy Draken, he wanted Draken to appear in the uh, like a live-action thing, and he could never get Saban to do it. He only did like a little promo thing. It looked really good. He's like, I want this. So, no, Saban, you know... And by the time Hasbro got a hold of it and was fixing everything with Saban, you know, he's like, you know, I'm done. Uh, which I can't blame him. Yeah. And unfortunately, with the stuff going on with Austin St. John, uh, from what my understanding is, he had not, he he didn't know what was going on. He blindsided. Yeah, he got blindsided with a whole bunch of other people. So Hasbro, I think, is trying to push away from him for a little while. Uh because they want to protect the brand. You know, that's a business move, everybody. I don't think it's right, but uh, the only thing I do know as of right now is there will be one new cast member that will definitely be introduced, and it's supposed to be the passing of a legacy. Uh, they're going to introduce a new uh, a new girl in it. Uh, she's going to be the Yellow Ranger, and she's supposed to be the daughter of Trini. Hmm. If you guys don't know, the actress who played Trini... Uh, I'm probably going to say her name on Tui. Unfortunately, it was pa uh, was killed in a car wreck uh, before her wedding. Mm -hmm. um, and this is supposed to be uh, Trini's daughter. So, and I know Dave, uh, David Yost, the original Blue Ranger, is the producer and the one behind this. Hmm. Because they actually interviewed him at the uh, about hearing about that. He was tore up yeah. about that. Like, mm -hmm. from my... Well, from my understanding, uh, Tui was kind of the... She was the big sister to everybody. Yeah. Like, I've seen behind-the-scenes stuff, you know. She was just, like, the nicest person. Nobody had an issue with her or anything. Set Saban when he fired um, her, well, Austin, and uh, Walter because they wanted more money. They, Understandable. Oh yeah, they, well they wanted royalties from the from the likeness of the heads on the toys. Understandable. Uh huh. So, and I will have more information on that, everybody, when uh, when it comes about. Now I don't know if Amy Jo Johnson's going to be in uh in that one. She may or may not. I think Catherine Sutherland might be in it. Uh. But if David's in charge of it, then uh. He probably has twisted her arm to get her, uh, her on it, because this will be her first Ranger appearance since the second movie. Yeah. 
because she uh she won't she said she didn't want to do anything and that's like her that's her best friend so yeah um I'm trying to think of something else real quick Uh, another year without Charlie Brown. What about Charlie? Nothing. Another year without Charlie Brown on TV. No. So, uh, I can't think of anything else. No, I can't either. Poop. It was a slow day. Yeah, it was a very slow day. Okay, everybody, please like and subscribe to us. Here's what nerves with the cause. I'm sorry it was a slow day today. Uh, we were we've been taking down Halloween decorations all day today. And pulling out some of the Christmas stuff because we have to go through it. I know some people are like, already putting up Christmas stuff. Well, we have to go through some of the stuff to make sure it, you know. It is repair when we, re we repair it, replace lights. Uh huh. That's usually what we're the, doing. The usual stuff, Christmas stuff. Or, you know, doing crafts, Christmas crafts, yeah. getting that out of the way. Yeah. So please like and subscribe to us here, everybody. It really does help us out. We also have a Facebook page. Uh, uh, let's see if I can look on our Facebook page real quick. Care to care. Hold on. I got switched to another. Cause I, I know I posted something. Really? Got to close out. Got to open back up to go right to it. I don't care. Gosh. Ant Man and Wasp trailer. Brendan Fraser. Nope. I didn't post anything new. So. Oh, I do remember something. So, uh, the last thing of Bleach has been a uh, series has been coming out, okay? And they're only releasing one episode a week instead of bombarding it. Every time a new episode is released, okay, the anime community is in not an uproar, but praising on how well it is. So supposedly, I think they're about to do episode four or five Every episode has been movie quality animation. That costs a big bucks. It takes time to. I heard something. Okay, I the, um. All right, so you um you know Biakuga's uh Bankai. Biakuga's Rukia's older brother. Well, technically yeah. her brother-in-law. You know, he drops his swords, he says, Bonkai, and, you know, that mm -hmm. the swords with fire puddles come around. Mm -hmm. So, supposedly, uh, that's coming up. And there was an, uh, some people in the preview saw him dropping it and doing it, and they said the animation on that, just for that little scene that they saw, was phenomenal. Hmm. So, Studio Paradox actually doing a good job. Who says crap doesn't happen? Well, suppose this same group's also working on uh, the Black Clover. Some people are actually working on the Black Clover movie, so. Yeah. Wait for that. Oh, I know. Uh, all right, everybody. So next week we'll have the Halloween ends uh, in depth review. And then the following week we will have something on Black Panther, some other things. Hopefully we'll see. Um, What's my call about Black it? Adam. Black Adam, that that following week. So, because we gotta go see Deadly Night when it comes out. So, all right, everybody, have a wonderful rest of your day. Be safe out there. We are out.